All right, YouTubers, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add the CPU clock, CPU uh, frequency, whichever way you want to refer to it, into MSI Afterburner. Now, if you have a um, copy of the regular version of MSI Afterburner, you're going to need to do that. If you have an older uh, MSI beta, uh, you'll need to get rid of that as well, I believe. But definitely if you have the regular version. Now, uh, I've had to do this video a couple times, so um, we've had some issues. Now, yours, you know, should say MSI Afterburner. And basically, we're going to replace it with what you see here. But uh, for the sake of this video, let's act like uh, we're getting rid of MSI Afterburner, regardless of what version it is or if it's a beta. So we're going to install it and boom gone all right close now what else do we need to do folks there is a reva tuner on here that may or may not be need to be removed um yours you know shouldn't say beta at the end of it so we're going to install that as well and so i'm basically trying to step you through everything here okay so you get rid of reva you get rid of msi afterburner but are you truly rid of all those? In actuality, you're not. Um, if there's a couple other steps here to do, if you don't do them, uh, it'll come back to uh, act like the way it did. So um, on your C drive and under program files x86 exists two things in here. One is the Reva statistics server uh, what's left over of it and we're going to go ahead and delete that and the other is MSI afterburn now really what's in here you'll have a bunch of things under here under profile um, since I just redid this there's not much you can either delete these files or we can uh, back up a second and just delete the whole folder okay so boom that's gone now we want to do from here so we've cleared out the software, okay? Um, now, obviously, uh, you'll do a Google search, or if you want to type this in, uh, direct link here. I'll probably forget to add it to the video, but uh, you will do Google search MSI Afterburner. It'll take you to this page and then you will scroll down now there are two msi afterburners on here uh, here's the regular version which most of you probably will download and what we need is the beta version okay so we're going to click uh, download and depending on what you're using like this is microsoft edge it'll open up uh, a folder here i'm sitting in a hotel room it will take forever for this to download so We'll just skip ahead to this one. And see, I told you I did this a couple times. Um, it's like third time. So I'm going to click on these three periods and say show in folder. And voila. So I'm going to get rid of this one. What you will see is this folder. Let's get rid of that too. All right. You're going to see this folder here, zip folder. And what you're going to do is right mouse click on it and extract all and that's going to create this folder here okay reason I deleted the other one was so it would get so confusing to have two of these in here so I'm gonna left mouse click on it left mouse click again and here is the installer we're gonna go ahead and install it I say yes okay next I accept next next boom install click ok next I accept so this is the Reva tuner next install So I have another video out there where I show you how to set up all the other aspects uh, in case you like my statistics that I show in the videos or you want to add to it. 
um, you can you know start with that and then go through and find other stuff um, everybody's got to start somewhere with this okay so boom the program opens up on its own I'm gonna go ahead and pin this to my taskbar because I use it so often now where you want to go from here is uh, settings um, let me before we move on to that if you are seeing the older version or a different style there's a chance you did not remember to get rid of your profile uh, and therefore it's gonna cause problems later but uh, so from here we'll click on settings on-screen display whoops sorry monitoring oh we screw that up and I want to see where CPU clock okay so I don't want all the different uh, core threads I want this guy and I say show on screen display now this will show up on the CPU line or you can make it put it on its own line so I could say CPU clock frequency whatever floats your boat apply okay and while I'm in here I said I was only going to do one of these I want to add CPU power all right, so uh, from there, you know, you would go and add all the other stuff that you want, but that's going to end the video. I showed you how to uh, add the core frequency for 10th gen Intel CPUs. Please like, please subscribe, and please share the hell out of this video. Thank you.